Right. Give me one sec, people. Just posting social media. Right, we're live again another Thursday, slightly later than I'd have liked, but I'll explain why in a moment, <clears throat> what I've been working on. Okay, so a couple of things. First of all, um, I've been, this week, initially I was working on some of the movement code and that again. Uh, unfortunately, it's still not up to the functional standard, so we won't be delving into anything to do with that. And what I've done is sidestep that sort of work and looked at a few, th uh, looked at a couple of things that I've been talking about for a while, but... Uh, I haven't really had a chance to do because we've been trying to get the game, focusing on the actual game itself. So yeah, this is uh, these are uh, these will be uh, interesting to a few people. So first of all, I've been looking into Cloud Save and making sure I understand the ins and outs of Cloud Save, particularly on Steam. I know there's I know there's Cloud Save features on GOG as well, and we sell there. So I haven't had a chance to look into that yet. Um, GOG Cloud Save will be the next uh, port of call after we've got it working on Steam. Um, that said, in the test version of the of Steam at the minute, I have managed. We've managed to get it work a uh, Cloud Save going on uh, Mac and uh, Windows, and we're just looking into um, Linux at the minute. So that said. You can probably expect to see Cloud Save cropping up uh, over the weekend. So the game should have Cloud Save in place over the weekend. And whilst doing it and looking all into all of it, so I've been looking into the, into the Steam API mostly, um, and also how it integrates with Unreal Engine. So. The Steam API handles things like, it can handle things like cloud save, although we've actually opted to go for the auto cloud save, which just sync, it makes sure the fold, sure the, your save games folder is synced across your devices. The, using the API, you can actually send, tell it to save individual things to the, to the Steam cloud. Um, but we haven't actually gone with that. We've just gone with the, with the folder sync because I think anything more than that is overkill for what we need at the minute. However, the achievements link into the link into the API also. So in kind of this research into cloud save, I've also been doing research into uh, I've also been doing research into um, achievements. And that's what we're going to be focusing a bit on today. Now, with Cloud Save, we can activate that on the current live branch. Um, we don't have to go. Um, we don't have to go uh, changing any game code or uploading any uh, uploading anything strange. Uh, with achievements, achievements links very much into this into the core experience of the game. Uh, so we need to we need to come up with a we need to come up with some ideas for what they are, and then figure out how to trigger them at various places in the game. Um, we also need to decide what kind of lengths we want to go to with achievements. I mean, you can use achievements for all sorts of things. We can. Uh, We can include them in 
in, in like within the game itself. So you can say like you get these achievements and you which gives you this or allows this sort of thing. So So yeah, we're gonna be looking at that. So that said, our approach to achievements uh what it was intended to do was to follow a kind of similar route to StarCraft. So that's to make achievements for different difficulties of the game. So maybe, for example, this is 1-1, one, one, new home. And you might have, first of all, you might have a baseline achievement for completing 1-1, one, one, uh, new home on any difficulty. Then there might be uh, an achievement for completing it on uh, normal, Hard, insane. And then you get the more interesting achievements. The ones that... Um, the ones that players actually need to actively do something to get. So, for example, we could say... In 1-1, in one, one, new home, uh, on normal difficulty or harder, complete the level in a minute. No, not a minute. Um, like, ten minutes. I don't even think that's possible. Maybe it is. Someone will prove me wrong. But it's the kind of thing we're looking at. Now, the technical side of achievements, um, Unreal Engine has something called a subsystem, um, online subsystem uh, interface, which essentially... It interfaces with the various outside uh, APIs. So Steam has uh, an API. Most insane players completed uh, one one in th in thirty five minutes. Maybe that should be one then. On insane, complete it. Uh, complete it in thirty five minutes, or complete it in thirty minutes to make it extra hard. Hey, hey, Pactane and and to Tofu Tofu's. Tofu is ultra cool. <laughs> Good to have you with us. Okay, so the ach the achievements themselves will need balancing, so we'll have to work out where they where they should sit, and we'll have to do that probably with our test group. But maybe some some people that are more involved in playing the game on the forums. I might write a forum post about it. Um, and maybe state the achievements I'm thinking of doing, and maybe get the community to decide what the what the barrier, what the level of them should be. So we'll we'll see. Um, we shall see. So then, with that said, let's have a think about what achievements we can actually do. Okay, so I'm just going to jot these down. Okay, so <clears throat> generic achievements first. So we can complete a level on various difficulties. That's an achievement. Uh, I don't. I don't actually know how many of these we want to include, because stuff like that. Mm, sort of interesting. And insane is certainly a, an achievement, but I guess I guess people feel like when they can yeah. So you should probably have one on each difficulty, right? And that the higher levels auto complete the lower level difficulties. Okay, so there's a generic achievement. Sadly, I can't stay. I have things to do, but love your game. Thanks very much. Yeah, p potentially just you could you could potentially just do hard and insane. I'll put a note there. The, it's it's the the thing is that um, you say that, but not everyone's gonna have the same experience. For some people, beating out on normal might be a, might feel like a massive achievement to them. It's uh, different people, different abilities. We'll get a feel for it anyway. Um, 
Okay, so a couple more generic ones. Uh, so you got the various tiers to un unlock various species in Formicarium. You could do a fully upgrade. You should try and sign on one too. That's uh, it's not actually that bad. Um, the 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 key to it is just speed. As long as you keep going fast in one two, uh, and you don't stop uh, and tunnel out multiple areas at once, and that it's actually not too bad. So you get an achievement for fully upgrading each each one of the species. Uh, that could include the queen as well. So that's buying the two uh, things up and buying the third level upgrade. So just purchase achievements. Very basic stuff. This isn't anything particularly fun at the minute. Uh, what, are the, what are the generic achievements do you have in games? Uh... I don't want too many of these because they're not that exciting. Find the hidden tiger beetle corpse. <laughs> yeah, they're they're the fun ones that I'd like to put in. Uh, we'll come back to those. They're uh, level specific achievements. At the minute, I'm just kind of gathering ideas of uh, generic achievements. Max population in the campaign. There's a good one. And you could have that on uh, on the campaign tier, uh, the tier one and tier two, not tier one, um, form carrying one and form carrying two. That way you'll get people sticking with uh, the lower level form carrium to to hit max population, then transitioning to the next one. Using vanilla eruptor in the formicarium. <laughs> oh, they're, they're fun one. That's a fun one. Like beat, uh, beat challenge one using only workers. All right, the, the, we're getting onto level specific ones now. So let's 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 write this these let's write some of these down because they're fun ones. But these are just ideas anyway. I'm not saying we're gonna do all of these. Okay, so there's 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 a fun challenge one one. Uh, so uh, the leaf got a free play. See the the actual the actual code for the free play section of it's actually done. The issue is that the movement code's been. Uh, is is being redone at the minute. So the the question really is how close is the is the new updated movement code? Unfortunately, I'm not in charge of that. Uh, Liam's in charge of that, and he got he's got it to a, re a reasonable state, but there's still a lot of errors, like bugs in it. So it's not at a point that we can test really yet. Uh, funnily enough. Okay, so. Only uh, um, so I like that one. That one's a nice one. 
to make it simple, I'll just make it not unlocked black ants. Uh, okay, so I want uh, an, an easy achievement, a, no, I probably want a normal slash easy achievement a hard achievement and an insane achievement. So, right, for, for each level. So, let's come up with some, some ideas. So, 1.1, 1 .1, uh, I mean, there's, there's, there's the obvious ones. So, beat level in X amount of time. Uh, What else we what else do we have? Uh, okay, so so we're looking for interesting things. Beat without leveling up. Do you mean um, yeah? Do you mean with level only with with only level one at uh, black ants? Could do. We'll have a we'll have a look. Keep keep thinking of thinking of ideas. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, what uh what one point one is a very it's it's a very early level. It's uh See we can also do some fun things with this. So we can potentially add some stuff in for the achievement. So you could add in a secret enemy or um although that's they they they're more hidden achievements i don't really want to stray into hidden achievements yet i'd like to have some stuff for the community to hunt down but i don't i i'd rather come up with those myself and let the community find them Okay, I guess we'll come back to that. Let's have a think about level two, uh, one point two. So, in level one two, right? Here's a fun one. Uh, beat the level after X amount of waves have spawned. I'm almost doing that with the word amount. Get the cricket to fight the spider. Which cricket? The mole cricket. Oh yeah, the challenge. That's a good point. Um, we got challenge modes on these as well. There should probably be one extra uh, challenge with it. Can you do that in one, two? So 
so that would be fun. Oh, there's a good one. Don't lose any eggs. No, that is a good one. Oh yeah, you are right. Um, the first, the at the very beginning of the level, an invincible ant spawns and nicked an egg with only losing one egg. Although we should probably put a comment on that. I'd... So is it? So did you say it was possible to get the cricket to fight the spider? <laughs> All right, I'll, I will check that. But if that's true, that would be a really fun one to add in. <laughs> you did that. That's brilliant. <laughs> so I probably want one achievement um, on each challenge mode as well. Um, Although I don't think I'm gonna link that with the di with difficulty. In fact, the challenge mode achievements can be a bit silly like that. Okay, so something to do with the cricket in this one then. I don't think, I, I, as far as I'm aware, the crickets are allied with them, with everything in this level. So they can't, they can't do anything silly like, like that. Although, that's something you can do is beat the level after X number of crickets have spawned. There's something else I want to talk about as well, which is stats. Which basically we can track certain things on Steam. Uh, so we could do like uh, creatures killed. Queens killed. Resources harvested. Etc. Etc. So, if you think of a stat that could do with being tracked on in people's Steam accounts, hello, Daniel Sly. Nice to have you with us. We're talking achievements today. Right. So maybe maybe a joke achievement for losing more than twenty ants from the rising tide. That's not a bad one. You've got to lose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's on 2-1. Um, lose X number of ants to drowning. Um, and still win 
<laughs> so you could say like you've got to lose 50 ants in the water but you've still got to beat the level yeah although the keeping the wolf spider outside your nest actually makes it easier Um, I, I had a good one a second ago. Okay, right. So in two one, I want to do something like uh, I want to add a such a wolf spider like to the very bottom level of the beach in the corner uh, that comes out on like day two. So he's a long way away. Uh, looks like the stream's still running. Um, so, so on 2-1, kill, uh, daytime beach wolf spider. So you've got to get on an expedition during the day. So there's a fun one. Um, so hang on, there was a good idea for t for. Uh, oh, I've got I've got a good one for this. For two two. <laughs> Harvest the fish on two two. Uh, okay, hang on. Coming back to. Right, so keep wolf spiders outside the nest on two one. Uh, have no enemy enter your nest. So that means you've got to take the one on the surface. So that could be a fun one. So that's, so yeah, that's along the lines of what you said. Keep the wolf spiders out of the nest. Uh, clear the lowest beach. Um, yeah, that could work. Uh, uh, all the way through. So, clear resources from lower be beach hole level. So ne basically, non no resources on the bottom level should be take should be killed by the tide. Sometimes the spider runs into the nest if you have thirty ants in front. How can you prevent the spider from ignoring the ants? Does it? I didn't realize. It shouldn't. Because as soon as it sees an enemy, it should go to attack it when it's outside the nest. Good to have you back, Robo White. Uh, so beat 2-2 two -two without using melee soldiers. Ooh, that's a fun one. So yeah, um, so then, therefore you probably want the rapid fire ones with slow on. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a good idea. Right, so um, what? I'll keep an eye out for the spiders running past the ants, uh, but they shouldn't be doing that. If they are doing that, we need to. Yeah, the the melee ones don't do any damage really. Um, They've got more health though than, uh, than than the black ants, the wood ant melees. So the idea is that they pin down the the targets that so you shoot them. So yeah, they they're not a, they're not a damage dealer at all. Uh, okay, so beat the level without using melee. Um, Stuff like clear the underground. So I... Who would the player block the infestation? Who 
would the player block the infestation in 2-1? Uh, um, so in 2-1 we had uh, have no enemy enter your nest. So that's the where you got to stay on the surface and keep them blocked. So let's have a think about the challenge modes as well. So this is with the beach tiger beetle larvae. The million mini spiders. Yeah, oh, the very end of the level. Can the enemy ants kill the tiger beetle larvae? I... Oh, you mean on... Uh, yeah, they can on 2-2, um, two, 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 right? So it's an idea. Uh... Either... either get the, the enemy colony colony to kill you take a beetle larvae or feed the enemy colony feed x enemy colony to the beach tiger beetle larvae Yeah, definitely giant whip spider. Um, that should definitely be an achievement. In fact, you could even do something like kill it by day two or something like that to put some time pressure on it. You can block spiders by camping the spawn with mortar. All oh, right. Yeah, doesn't, yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay, so I should probably write down th three. I'll challenge. Oh, hang on, no, that it's not there. Sorry, that's there. Okay, so cha challenge two. Who can one kill the enemy queen? Another good one. Okay, let's let's start writing these down. So I'll get 3.1, 3 3.2. Uh, 3.2. Damn it. Kill. A huge whip spider. Harvest fish and tutu. Yeah, we've got that. We've got that one. Harvest some fish. Uh, what about the achievements for killing jet? Yeah, block. Block the spider by camping the spawn with mortar. S Using no Medea in 3.1. I'll jot it down. I'm not sure how uh, that will play out. that means you harvest a lot slower, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. God, that would be hard. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so you could do something like... Uh, So, you could call something like that back from the brink, so you win the game after after being nearly killed. Block, uh, challenge three, yeah. Uh, so what would that be? Prevent the enemy colony from picking up any food. You, uh, you could do you could do this one on a time a time pressure thing as well. In fact, level one two could could have a, a time pressure thing as well. Don't get killed. Oh, lose. Uh, don't lose any ants to the scientist's hand. Yeah, it's another one. Impossible. What's what's impossible? You always get ants killed when you march forward. Um, it depends what... I, I think you could do it on easy because you could, as soon as his hand appears, if you run back into the tube, he can't get you in there. And then his hand goes away. And I think it's got... I think it's then on a cooldown. So you can use that time to push in a bit, then maybe pull back a bit again. I think it might be possible on one of the easier modes. But I'll, I'll jot it down anyway. Um, that one's quite a micro it's you've got to kind of play with the um attack or don't attack thing also when your ants are attacking the enemy you got to hope they die before the thing gets to you by the enemies it's that's a good point as well so the the trail behind you does take some some hits but you could do something like uh, lose a maximum of 10 ants to it or something like that. <laughs> Finger of death. Uh, right, so... Okay, so with the... We haven't come up with anything for the beach tiger beetle larvae. Oh, no, hang on. We did for that. We haven't come up with anything for this one on the challenge mode. Uh, so this is beach tiger beetle live larvae. You could you could just do, like, kill X tiger beetle larvae. So you've got it. So you've got to go hunting them. Don't make the scientist punch the nest. Oh yeah, that's not that's another that's another one as well. Um, so it'd be called like no re uh, no retreat, no surrender, or something like that. Yeah, 
Yeah, to kill ladybirds in 2 2. That's another good one. You've got to have quite a powerful punch to do that because you've got, you got like less than a second to deal the damage before they become immune and fly off. Hey, which achievements do you got got by now? Um, you mean what have we what have we got? We've come. I think we've come up with ideas for most things. The only one we don't have is the uh, is challenge two. Uh, this the challenger mode. This got this is probably a better one than just kill X beach tiger beetle larvae. And it's actually a reasonable one that because they are hard to kill. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is we do something similar to what Starcraft did. So there'll probably be three achievements per level. Um, other than the generic ones, you know, just beat the level. Um, but there'll probably be three achievements per level. Um, one that can be completed on normal uh, or easy. One that can be completed on norm on, on uh, hard or insane. And one that can be only be completed on insane. So that's probably going to be the plan. I want to make make them different, make each one different. So, some interesting things. Okay, so we haven't got anything for challenge two yet. Challenge two is very similar to challenge one. Um, Don't let creatures enter the nest. That is a hard one to do, but but yeah. No. Want to um, clear the underground in three X? Yes, yes. That gives that gives us some purpose to the underground. <laughs> Achievements in a um, one achievements in the level would don't build any workers except from the queen. Ooh, okay. So so if if you dig one if you dig one where you didn't build any extra workers, I think a lot of people do that anyway. I mean, it's not it's not efficient. It's definitely not the most efficient way of doing it. Maybe maybe that could be an insane level challenge. What le what level would that make sense on? I guess two one. I think two one. Uh, th two one. That makes most sense on. I'll jot it down anyway. I'm not sure what we're gonna go with yet. An achievement could be in two one to make the enemy ants to make the enemy ants leave. Um okay, yeah, so the enemy ants I'm trying to think of things that happen in three one. If you're too far ahead of them, they send attacks at you. They just walk across the middle of the map and attack you. Make them 
so you you could you could do a like make the enemy colony retreat x amount of times so i'll jot that down Two point two force your worker. Two point two force you to use workers. That's an insane. Yes, it does. That you're you're right. Uh, that could be an insane challenge on two two. The build note. That would be hard. Yeah, so yeah, you could do uh... when you tuck the nest in three one, don't may just attack from. Empty room to the side. Yes, um, they 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 get like an emergency uh, contingent of them to basically help save them from you. What we we're finding was the AI was actually easy to just sit on top of their nest and destroy them. So it was kind of a way of patching up the hole in the in the AI. So it wasn't it's not the perfect solution, but it was. It's by, it is what happens. Will be achievements for side missions. I don't know on that one. Oh yeah, we need to think about free play. Clear the entire map of leaves in 3-1. Oh, that could work in 3-2 actually. That's a hard one to do in 3-2. In fact, it might be impossible because you might push. Oh no, you do it. You do it in the day, don't you? Okay, yeah, three two, three two. It's not. That's not a bad one at all. Clear. Entire. That's a hard one because you've also got to deal with the whip spider there. <laughs> uh, and three one. I'm not sure about that because the computer clears a lot of the leaves. So basically, you'd have to juggle the army ants uh, coming out, push them back, but not too far. And then when they go in, for, when it gets to night, you've got to try and farm, harvest the map as hard as possible. Yeah, as I, I say, that is not an easy one, is clearing 3-2 of, of all the leaves. Because the nights get progressively harder. So the uh, number of nights, that... that that could be another one as well. Uh, so that's another option as well. Although I th I, I'm, I think I prefer uh, the the clear the map actually because it's it's a little bit more interesting. Challenge three use. Royal decree or royal guard from your queen. Yeah. Or maybe that might be a better one for challenge two. Because then, then you've got to put in... Okay, I, I'll, I'll put it down in both because it could potentially work in both. Because that involves investing in in the queen ability. Oh, you mean the enemy queen ability? Oh no, use three, change three. Use royal decree or royal guard from your queen. See, um, you could actually uh, trigger because the enemy um, on the harder difficulties, the 
enemy uh, has I can't what it is is it Royal Guard or Royal it's one of them win a level win Win a level could be the first achievement. Yeah, I, 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 at the top I wrote down generic achievements. We also need, I also need to think about these as well. So if you've got any idea of what just general achievements that you give people are. I mean, activate our queen, then win the level. Yeah, I think so. Um, also, this request is not relevant to the achievements, but you should... Make a soundtrack for you to you. Uh, yes, that is on our list of things to do. I actually um, think it, it was one of the Kickstarter rewards, but we should definitely put uh, one up to buy on Steam. Um, not doing it just yet. I think we'll probably coincide it with the release of the game in full, because I think that I think when we the moment we release the game in full, we'll have we'll have we'll be a lot more visible for a short period of time on Steam, uh, as pe people come to purchase the game as it leaves early access. Oh yeah, generic achievements, right. Uh, This moment, the queen is the most overpowered ant. Yes, yes. The 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 queen's abilities really do make um. make her very powerful. You can. You can lure enemies to your queen, and use her ability to destroy stuff. Although it's a little risky. That said, if you've got the right abilities, you've got an, a certain amount of time before she becomes vulnerable. Okay, yeah, free play. Let's let's get on to free play now. So we, I've got I've got there's plenty of ideas here, and I'm sure um, I'm going to post on the forum, and I'll probably post this with it, and we'll see what other people think as well to uh, continue to the discussion there. Um, and I'll I, and we'll we'll come up with a definitive uh, list of achievements. Yeah, I try. I do try and involve the community the best we can. To be honest, these sort of ideas, I, I've got some good ideas myself. But the people that have played the game, that are playing the game on a daily basis, have got just as good ideas as me. This, this is, but this is. Don't think I'm just doing this for you guys. <laughs> Coming up with the achievements, help you guys. You guys are really helping. Um, okay, so free play. Okay, so there's various things. There's there's a big free play update coming as well, which it should shake shake things up quite a lot. Um, it's going to require a lot of testing, so that's going to make a few changes. Um, so I'm going to bring up the new free play menus so we can get some ideas on this something I can do as well um, okay so yeah I'll, I'll start jotting these down just trust me that that, that it's happening because you won't be able to see it as I'm jotting it down okay so Beat wave twenty. Twenty. Uh, reach X amount of score in free play. Yeah, that's a good one. In fact, we can probably have several tiers of that. So reach the low, this lower score, reach this medium score, reach this high score, that sort of thing. 
have X amount of workers or soldiers in free play. Okay, so that's uh, population. I guess you could say reach the population limit in free play. Uh, I'm just gonna, I think, yeah, it's trying to save that level, but it doesn't need to, I've not changed it. Um, kill an Uber, brilliant, good mic. Kill an Uber, kill, kill many Ubers, kill X Ubers. So that's another one where you can have different tiers of it. Good, good. Okay, so one sec. You ever wondered what's on these what's on these uh, things in the background? That's that's uh, the early design document for two two. As you can see, that's that's the aphid farms. There's the shore. These are the enemy colonies. This is the early design document for uh, tile upgrade levels. So this is showing like level one tiles, level two tiles, level three tiles. Uh, I don't know what that is. That could be any. <laughs> that could be any design document. Oh, this one's a good one. This was us trying to come up with the Slug Disco logo. So this is us writing it in various fonts and stuff. And that's obviously the one that was selected in the end. There's some more of that. <laughs> That's actually um, uh, one of the company, one of the other company names we were considering. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That could be anything. That's another company name we were considering. And there's a. Uh, us coming up with other names and this is this one of the early slug disco images yeah there's more attempts at slug disco logo that's the poster that's the amfax poster got those in a box next to me <laughs> I think these are more just generic game design documents. Oh, there is another one. It is another level one. That that's uh, three point. That's two point one. Anyway, yeah, here's our wonderful lab from the outside. Right, anyway, what was I doing before I got sidetracked? Oh yeah, these are the... Uh... Okay, so with the free play achievements, there's actually a few things we've got to think about. Is in certain certain setups need to be uh, I need to not allow them. Yeah, the optional objectives, right? So yeah, let's uh, let's go into that now. Uh, advanced game setup. Okay, so I'm going to start jotting some of these ideas down. But let's uh, let's have a look at those victory conditions. So, I think what I'm going to put down is uh, win a game with each 
victory condition. at a threshold. Okay, so what, what else do you guys come up with? Uber, Uber rainforest creatures are coming too, right? Yes, Uber, Uber rainforest creatures are coming. I haven't balanced them yet because the movement code's broken. Um, I think I sort of, no, I don't think I did balance them. So they, they still need they still need a bit of work to the rainforest Ubers. But yeah, they will be coming with the free play update. Along with loads of other stuff. Okay. <laughs> with X amount of workers you get industrial powerhouse. <laughs> And with soldiers, you get military queen. <laughs> yeah, you could do something like that. So, with population limit, uh, workers, reach population limit, soldiers. Will Uber trap duels be in free play? I hadn't actually thought about doing an Uber trap duel. I think I think I picked four to do Ubers with. Uh, there was praying mantis, jumping spider, whip spiderling, and what was it? Spiny Devil. So they were the four that I was I was looking at. I mean, we can always come back to it later, but I think just those four to start with. Well, the ability to breed a new queen. Um, it's not actually on the to-do list at the minute. Uh, I know what you mean. Um, it's kind of like Simantesque, where you could send out a late and populate other areas and that but it's not on the agenda at the moment and I don't I can't see anything like that coming whilst we're uh, whilst we're still working on uh, whilst, whilst we're still working on uh, the finishing the campaign Is the giant whip spider a titan? No, actually. I was looking at doing... Um, I was uh, With the giant whip spider, I was actually looking at doing a landmark for it. Because it can't behave like another a, a normal creature because it's too big. Um, so what I was looking at doing is, is doing a... Uh, a landmark so uh, and basically if it gets drawn away from the landmark too far it leashes back yeah like a, a, a monster yeah I'm not sure what we call what I called the landmark I think I might have called this I think I might have made it Fish thieves. Maybe I haven't made it. No, it isn't like I made it yet. But th that was the um, that was the plan with that was to have like a monster creature landmark, and then as we add other massive creatures into the game, uh, they they'll, they'll go into part of that. How many chapters will there be in the campaign? Um, there's two more, two more tiers of the former carrion planned. Um, so there's the fire ant, the fire ant tier, and then one more beyond that, which I don't want to go into details of yet. Possibly a whip spider nest. Or 
territory. Anyway. Uh, okay, so all these various things uh, need to be need to have ones in the, the so for example there's we'll have a we'll have a score we'll have a threshold that you've got to beat um on that victory condition so you've got to be say for example you've got to beat the score victory condition uh, with a threshold of 30,000 or higher um just for an example. Uh, so, Fog of War, definitely. Win a game with Fog of War on. Win a game with, with Disable... With win a game with Disabled... enemy fighting um actually what might be a good idea here is i was planning on doing um uh, some pre-setups so creative mode here is is a pre-setup i was planning on that's that's going to be in the game um but creative mode is just basically it's got creative ticked and it's got a few things unticked to allow the player to do um To do other things so basically i think what a lot of the free play achievements should actually be is tied into pre-setups that we'll have and i'm going to get you guys to come up with those but i'm not going to do it until the free play beta Uh, okay, so we are adding extra languages to the game at the moment and we actually have um uh, there's quite a few coming. Uh, uh, there's definitely Russian and Spanish. Uh, but the reason German was one of the very early languages that came it that came in is because Matt um, Matt has German family and speaks fluent German. Well, fairly fluent. He he wouldn't say he was fluent, but to me he's very fluent. Um, and, and so we got a German translator to do it, but it meant it was very easy for Matt to then, after the German translator did it, uh, to check it. So we've, we've got German uh, heritage in the team, shall we say. So, uh, so that's why German is one of the first languages that we offered. Okay, so I think with free play we'll come back to it because um, actually, additionally to that, even before we added the German language, uh, the game was selling. Germany was one of our top selling ter territories, uh, kind of suggesting to us that there's a desire for ant games in Germany. So there's that as well. Um, so I've got a few ideas for free play there based on the advanced game setup stuff. Uh, however, there's still much more we can do with it. And, and like I say, I think we're going to make it so... Uh, players have to uh, complete certain pre-setups to get the achievements. So we'll come back to that. I'm glad, I'm glad the translation's pretty good. It means the guy we paid was was pretty good. And that Matt's managed to spot any mistakes that he made. Because he, it's, it's a bit of a funny one translating something long, like this. Because there's some things that don't really make sense if you just translate them. <laughs> I 
Ants, more ants. <laughs> So you could do a leaf cutter one, nest invasions, attack waves, and a yeah. So we'll see what people come up with on on that front. I don't want to spend any more time sitting in. In the free play menu here. Um, that's Russian, isn't it? Is the movement code almost finished? Um, hard to say. There's still a lot wrong with it. Right, so there's still a lot long, wrong with it, but um, but it is getting there. Um, the uh, it, 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 Liam was concentrating on. Um, we'll have a we'll have a quick look in uh, in one of the lev one of my monthly levels, and we'll see what happens. See what's wrong with it still. Uh, oh, something else I wanted to take a look at actually, because I haven't actually looked yet. Is Matt's working on? a new system for putting exits and ramps in. So let's take a look at that because I actually haven't looked at it myself yet because uh, he's submitted quite a bit of it. And he submitted recently something saying it's in place in in 2.1 and 2.2, in 2.1. So he's got 2.2 checked out at the minute. Oh no, he's checked it back in. He's, so he's put it in 2.2 as well. So let's have a, let's have a look at 2.1 and see what the new ramps and... Uh, exits look like. I don't know what he's done, but as far as I'm aware, it allows them to be placed a lot easier. Do you create a new map for the leaf for the leaf cutters where the leaves respawn, or do you try to integrate the leaves into the maps? Oh, do you mean in free play? Uh, the, way, well, the way I've done it in free play is the, leaf, the plants spawn uh, like landmarks, so they, they'll appear and disappear without you even seeing them. Um, so, and the way landmarks work is whilst you're looking at the surface, surface, it queues landmarks up to spawn and despawn. Then when you go underground, it does it. So you never actually see them spawn. Um, but the... Uh, The leaves are handled like that, but basically, in order to give the leaf cutter player some to start with, there's always one spawned on top of their nest at the beginning of the level. So they've always got a small amount of leaves at the beginning of the level. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the ramps then, shall we? Looks, uh, you can tell that's recently been put in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it hasn't been painted in properly yet. But you'll you'll notice now that the ramp is following the tiles exactly. So it's not so it's actually integrated into the tile system. And I believe the tunnel exit's the same. Yeah, so you'll see that that's uh I'm not sure how he's done it actually. So should we? I'm wondering if he's if he's made it part of the surface edit. Hmm. 
No, it doesn't look like it. I don't know how he's done it. I'm going to have to ask him. But yeah, those ramps need uh, painting. <laughs> There, w there will be a new map coming with the free play update, but the old maps work with leaf cuts as well. Okay. So they're, they're the new ramps. I don't know how I put them in. I'll have to wait for Matt to tell me. Um, but he's doing it with, other le with, the, with the other levels now as well. Uh, what am I doing? I want to have a look at my monthly levels. Okay, let's run a grand eyes and, and take a look at the movement code and see what's uh, what's still not working with that. Okay, so they're not getting stuck immediately in, anymore. At least not with eggs. This one's definitely broken. That'll be the. It, it will be um, um, being emergency nudged, which is something that happens in Liam's code when it thinks the ant's stuck. Which the ant's clearly not stuck. What do you guys want the game to look like? So. What do you guys want the game to look like so you think we have done a pretty good job? Uh, sorry, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure what you mean. Um. <laughs> Great. You see, see some lovely movement code bugs. <laughs> What's wrong with them? Oh, well, that's a brilliant bug. <laughs> oh, the things that happen when you change deep, deep code mechanisms. I'm wondering if it's like being given a location to move towards this somewhere like that, like in the bottom corner or something. Look at these two dancing. Whip spider dancing. So what's what do you call that? Do si do. You go around the back of each other. The code's not broken, the answer dance. It's a feature. We've added in uh, new ant dancing emotes. And slide. <laughs> so as you, as you see, there's still, uh, still plenty to do on the movement code side of things. Liam had a test he was running. I don't know where it is. You might even not have uploaded it, but basically Liam was getting the ants to. Anyway, so just uh, mention again because I mentioned it earlier we're we're at the point with the uh, cloud saves that they're uh, they're imminent. So we've got them working on both Mac and Windows, and we're just currently working on uh, uh, get. Well, Matt's probably already done it but basically figuring out the location where the saves are on uh, Linux. Making sure we get that right in the Steam system. And we should be able to roll that change out without updating the game. So that change will be uh, forthcoming, hopefully this weekend. Um, there's no reason to not roll it out, I don't think. Um, but do be aware that 
if you have multiple systems with different saves on each system, uh, Steam will want to use their cloud saved version um, if you're a Steam user. So when we roll that feature out, the um, just be aware of that. You might want to back them up. <laughs> it's a better love story than Twilight with the Rip Spiders. Indeed, indeed. Um, okay, so I think I'm, I'm coming to the end of the stream now. I'm just going to go over the source code changes um, so I can keep you guys updated on what's happening with the, with the source code. You guys have been a big help today. Uh, look, in, look in the forums... Uh, later today I'm going to post this document that we've been working on together and we'll continue the discussion there um, we'll see what people uh, I mean our forums I'm not going to post them on Steam, it's too many voices too many cooks um, but the bugs of, of the bugs is in this game, our art, yes, <laughs> bugs, bugs of bugs, it's a bugception. Um, so I'll post this document to, um, to the forums and we'll continue the discussion there. Um, so I'm just going to have a quick look at the source control and update you guys on what, what's been submitted. Liam's been away this week, uh, so his submits have been quiet. Matt was away last week, I think. But there's still been a fair few submits. Most of the submits actually have been Matt, because I've been working on the Steam Cloud saves, which do not require me to submit anything. I've also been researching achievements, which is what we've been coming up with today. And I think I'll start by adding in the basic ones. So complete this level on easy, normal, hard, insane, etc. I'll start with those because those don't require any further discussion. Because those are going in anyway. So just a couple of... Uh, a couple of things in the source control I will highlight. Okay, so what date was it last week? Last Thursday, although I don't think I actually went over last week. So it's the 29th last Thursday. Twenty-ninth. So I'll go a little bit further back than that. There's an update posted here that just that's just described as Liam Ho. I think that may, it must mean he was submitting something for Liam. Okay, so here's some me posting some monthly level work. Liam added functions for defining pathable areas over, over ground in the absence of the nav mesh. Okay, so part of what we're doing is removing the nav mesh, which, which is this green thing here. That's being removed from the game completely um, as we replace our movement code, which is instead, rather than following this mesh, it actually just uses our tile grid. So that nav mesh is being removed. Uh, Liam created a function to project a point to the tile grid rather than project it to the nav mesh. Um, Liam's working on unsticking ants from underground and making sure they collide with the walls correctly or, or make sure they um, avoid the walls correctly. Matt fixed a potential stack overflow issue. Uh, me doing more monthly work, work, and I fixed tunnelers in surrounded. So I've actually fixed the tunnelers in surrounded. So they were actually broken. Whoever mentioned that the other day. Uh, the Eraptor Queens have movement animations. I don't know. Do they? Uh, 
Um, more updates to the creature unsticking. So it's Liam trying to do uh, creature unsticking. Yes, <laughs> the Raptor Queens do indeed have movement animations. OG pathing graph checkpoint. It's more to, more to do with overground pathing. Fix for mesh rotations. I was adding checks added for the path location on the tile grid. And I was adding fixes in for the new um, Convert uh, projector mesh rather than projector projector grid rather than projector mesh. Um, sorry, yeah, yeah. Have a there you are. working on holdout level uh, adding I was adding stuff in for the fire ants last week if you remember we'll, we'll go back to that next week probably um, Liam was making modifications to the swarm movement uh, I was putting the projector grid stuff in Matt was adding the stuff to do with the ramps Checkpoints and holes. More stuff to do with projecting to grid. Might looking at the ramp normals. I removed some debug messages that were coming up, made. Matt made deletion of ramps and tunnels more robust. Ramp hole punching improvements. More stuff to do with the ramps and the tunnels. Matt's really been plowing hard into the new ramp and tunnel system. And then he's been updating the levels themselves. So there's some of the, uh, the, the recent things that have been going on. Matt's been working hard on the ramp system. Liam's been working hard on the movement system. I've been working on the levels and the... Uh, and various other bits and bobs, cloud saving, um, and whatnot. Okay. With that, I'm going to bring the stream to a close. Thanks very much for your help, chaps. Um, look for the look for the post on the forum uh, where we'll continue to discuss the achievements, and make some de some decisions on them, um, and we'll get some more ideas from our community on the forums as well. See ya. Thanks very much for joining me. Uh, what I'll do is tomorrow morning I'll try and do a, a short, short stream, uh, so maybe an hour tomorrow morning. Um, uh, maybe a little bit earlier than normal, so maybe at uh, ten UK time. But yeah, thanks very much for joining, and I will see you next time. <laughs>